What's up guys, welcome to Spare Change. Here on the channel, we do a lot of home theater related videos, and of course, 4K Blu-ray reviews for the home theater and movie enthusiasts. So if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so with the release of Sicario Day of the Salado, I figured it'd be a good time to go back and revisit the original. I'd only seen this once on regular Blu-ray, so this was a fresh experience for me. And for a review, we have Sicario, a 4K Blu-ray. I'm not here to review the movie, I'm just gonna share my thoughts on the video and audio quality. Now for some tech specs. The movie was shot in 3.4K. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated R. Runtime is 121 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So yes, there's black bars. All right, image quality. Opening shot, the desert sand, the dry grass, blue sky with clouds in the distance, razor sharp, crystal clear. Picture perfect. This is how good 4K resolution looks. Close-ups look ideal with Blunt's peach fuzz on her cheeks clearly visible and perfectly rendered. Clothing had an amazing amount of texture, so good you could tell if it was cotton, wool, or silk. Backgrounds were equally impressive as you could count the brush strokes on the drywall spackle. The look of the film is very warm and bathed in sepia and earthy tones during the day and at night you get a cooler feel, yet with a touch of orange that lets you know there's still some warmth in the air. It gives you a real sensation of the dry, warm environment these characters actually live in. So you should expect this isn't going to be a bold, vivid presentation or an HDR bright fest. Instead, we get a wider range of colors with larger gradational tones, notable in the blue sun-drenched skies, and the darker scenes delve deep with shadow details never obscured. Audio was done in Dolby Atmos, and I found it lent itself just fine for this type of film. There isn't much in the way of height effects, but given the type of movie this is, there wouldn't be much up top anyways. Soundstage is moderately wide and comprised of mostly ambiance with the musical score lightly overlaid. There is an explosion in chapter one that fills the listening area with debris coming from up top and all directions. And the gun shootout in chapter 12 had a cool effect as well with dirt dropping down from above your head. There isn't much in the way of bass response, but it did carry some decent weight during the action scenes. This is a dialogue heavy film, so there were no issues with intelligibility. So for audio, I'm gonna give it a seven. I thought the mix was fine, but it really had no memorable moments. For video, I'm gonna go 10. If you like the look of Blade Runner 2049, then you'll know it's the same cinematographer that did Sicario as well. It's a stylized look and not one that exudes that HDR vividness some people hope for. But to me, this film is sharp, crisp, and very clean. And if you hate grain, then you guys are gonna love this one because it's grain free. Now, if you only own the regular Blu-ray, I think you'll find there's a night and day difference between the two. And I think it's definitely worth a watch in 4K. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna pick up this disc if you don't already have it. Leave us a comment and let us know if you guys are gonna go see Sicario 2. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.